Welcome to Outside Live. I'm Emily Bonner. Here are your local headlines. First, police are appealing for witnesses after a man was seriously injured in Skelmsdale. At around half twelve on Tuesday afternoon, police were called by the ambulance service to report that the victim, a man in his 50s, had suffered a knife injury to his head on Windrows. He was taken to hospital where he's in a serious but stable condition. The offenders are believed to be a group of around four or five men wearing dark clothing and face coverings. Now, Universal Credit is contributing to a rise in homelessness because landlords are choosing to quit the market and sell their properties rather than trust claimants to pay their rent on time. That's what a new report has suggested. The report cites the end of private sector accommodation as the main cause of homelessness in the borough, with a controversial six-in-one benefit system said to be partly responsible. We will council have responded to the rise in rough sleeping by securing a home £127,000 of government funding in partnership with Birkenhead YMCA to deliver a rough sleeper assertive outreach project. A spokesperson from the DWP has also insisted people threatened with homelessness could seek advice from their local job centre. Now, residents are terrified after a giant toxic plant billed the most dangerous in Britain was spotted blighting a Merseyside beauty spot. Parents are being warned to keep their children away from hogweed, which looks attractive, but has a number of nasty side effects for those who come into close contact, including blistering of the skin and even blindness. The dangerous plant's been spotted in a number of locations in Wirral. The NHS advised that if you touch a giant hogweed, you should cover the affected area and wash it with soap and water or see a doctor if you develop a reaction. That is all your local headlines for now.